tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hi friends, we're talking about something which is called legacy. It's, uh, it was great in the past but it's not relevant today. And uh, the theme today is subdivision surfaces. You probably haven't heard anything about them but in the early 2000s they were very important because they helped the nerves based Maya community to move into the polygon world, uh, refinement, etc. And there are still, I think, four commands in the current versions of Maya, and we're currently in December 2020, which support sort of the subdiv, as they are abbreviated, uh, methods. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually deal with it, and I found uh, old c CD backups with Maya scenes which used that terminology and that mythology of the subdivision surfaces and um, I'm glad you're here and I hope you enjoy this and uh, if you're not dealing with anything in the computer history world well just skip this video Maya started in, I think, 1999 or the year 2000 as a, an animation package with special effects and with NURBS modeling tools. The NURBS modeling tools were very rich at that time already and they are still here. Surfaces, you have lots of entries here. But uh, the uh, polygon modeling technique was not implanted in the first couple of versions of Maya. It came sort of with uh, only very limited tools like the extrude into the Maya version 3 I think and with the Maya version 2 or 3 Maya introduced the subdivision surfaces which you can see here. The subdivision surfaces try to bridge the gap between polygon modeling and NURBS modeling with very restricted modeling tools in the polygon world and very very rich tools in the NURBS world. So this I, I found this file on a backup disk from 2002. I abandoned that work obviously I didn't finish the other hand and uh, I didn't put bones into the thing I didn't texture anything so this is right from a backup CD from back then but uh, what you can see here is very typical for subdivision surfaces if you ignore the arms, I created that creature, that character, with a NURBS sphere. The NURBS sphere has two poles and one pole is in the mouth currently and the other one is down here and I opened that second pole. So that's a typical NURBS topology, but not the arms. You cannot do extrudes like these on a NURBS surface. For example, I could not create a second head with a NURBS surface because it's only one sphere and the sphere has two poles and that's all. Uh, that's a basic problem with modeling heads in with a NURBS uh, to, uh, technology because you can, for example, put your um, pole here, but uh, how about the two eyes? If you want muscles around the eyes, you have this circular um, uh, lines here, but um, not enough resolution here and the subdivision surfaces with a uh, right mouse click menu uh, provided tools to make this local selection finer. Now in the year 2020 and with Maya 2020 we don't have that anymore. We see the menus they are basically leg legacy but they don't do anything so display finer doesn't do anything. If we for example pick an um, a face it doesn't pick a face so um, this is really legacy and you don't need it anymore I just wanted to let you know how this worked and why that was so this surface is not a NURB surface anymore it's sort of a NURB surface and it's definitely not a polygon surface it's a subdivision surface 
Nowadays, you have the subdivision tools in the polygon world, which is uh, deeply implanted into Maya now with three big menus here, mesh, edit mesh and mesh tools, and uh, even a fourth one um, with the mesh display. And uh, you can smooth this character, etc. Just a basic thing which uh, was always a problem with NURP surfaces. For example, if you have this cube here, it's a polygon cube. Nowadays, you would typically go to Edit Mesh and bevel this object. And then you have sort of something like, which looks a little bit like a subdivision surface. And uh, here you can change the values now. And uh, you have beautiful objects and topology which were only possible in the old days with subdivision surfaces. By the way, don't try to render this in Arnold. Uh, it might crash Maya because uh, the subdivision surfaces are unknown <laughs> to Arnold and they, uh, they don't need, Arnold doesn't need to know about the subdivision surfaces. But uh, you can convert them into, and that's why we have menus here, uh, using the modify menu set and convert. And then you have NURBS to subdivisions. That's not what we need because we have a subdivision uh, model here, subdivision to NURBS. So that's what I'm going to do. It has no texture layout. That's why it's here. And it deletes the subdivision surface. And it has a different topology, as you can see here. Let me undo this and uh, we go back to modify and convert and we convert this to polygons. And then we have a, uh, an object which looks very much alike the previous one. This is the way to bring it into the renderer and uh, everything is possible here now. And when you go to convert and look at NURBS to subdivisions and polygons to subdivisions, you sort of get the compatibility compatibility to the older versions of Maya and I think there's no other purpose for these two menu sets here and uh, these two here subdivision to polygons and subdivision to NURBS are the the ones you might need if you have uh, a previous version of Maya with a subdivision surface when you create polygons from that surface it looks quite alike as we've seen and the subdivision to NURBS uh, with this strange texture, let me give it a, an existing material, for example, the standard uh, surface shader. You see that uh, it looks quite intact, but uh, it consists of many, many NURB surfaces. If you open this here in the outliner with the shift key, you get everything opened and you see there's a there are tiny things. This is this. It's not the finger. It's just part of the finger. It's the right side of that finger. The reason is that the NURBS topology is totally different from the polygon topology, and as you've seen, the subdivision surfaces try to bridge that gap. Well, have a nice day. Bye bye.